In today's video, we're going to be talking about the differences between Winston-Salem and Greensboro, North Carolina. A side-by-side -side comparison you're not going to want to miss. My name is Romolo Melli. I'm a local realtor and the team leader of the Smart Move Group brokered by eXp Realty here in Winston-Salem as well as all the surrounding areas, including Greensboro. I wanted to make this video for you guys because a lot of people that I end up helping from this channel moving here from other states, a lot of times they kind of are weighing out their options between Winston-Salem and Greensboro, North Carolina. Both very good options, both have their strong points and their weak points, and that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. I do want to mention that if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about either area, feel free to reach out, give me a call, shoot me a text, the number on the screen is my personal cell phone number, goes to no one else but me. You'll also find my full contact information and my social media handles in the about section of this video in case you want to be my friend on TikTok, Snapchat, or Facebook. So first we're going to go over some similarities between Winston-Salem and Greensboro. Just know that I do tend to, you know, look at Winston-Salem with rose-colored sunglasses because I, you know, I consider myself from Winston-Salem now. I live in the area. My, you know, my kids are here. I got family here, dear friends, and I'm in this city much more than I am in Greensboro, but, you know, the numbers and the stats don't lie. So Winston-Salem and Greensboro, both located in the Piedmont Triad, commonly known as the Triad area of North Carolina. It's called the Triad because of three main cities, Greensboro being the biggest, Winston-Salem being the second biggest, and High Point, North Carolina being the third. Greensboro happens to be North Carolina's third largest city behind Charlotte and Raleigh, and Winston-Salem happens to be North Carolina's fifth largest city. So decent size, and having two in the top 10 and the top five really so close together, there are some benefits there as well. Both cities are actually really close to each other only about 30 miles apart depending on what part of you know Greensboro or Winston Salem you're going from and I kind of alluded to this a little bit earlier, but because they're so geographically similar, you're going to have the same uh, type of weather, usually the same kind of um, characteristics of homes, usually the same kinds of jobs a lot of times. So they're not too different there. One of the great benefits of living in the Triad as a whole, generally speaking, is that you're so close to the mountains and so close to the beach. If you're a beach person, this is going to be the first point for Greensboro, North Carolina, uh, because Greensboro is going to be slightly closer, 30 minutes closer to the beach than us. And we here in Winston-Salem, we're closer to the mountains. So if you have a heavy preference, you know, beach versus mountains, then that might help you decide right there. Greensboro covers about 136 square miles and a population of about 298,000 people, almost 300,000 people according to the last census. While here in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, we cover only about 134 square miles, so actually not too different when you think about it, and our population is only a quarter million, 250,000 people. So as far as size and population, we're quite similar. Now let's break down some differences between Greensboro and Winston-Salem, North Carolina. So first, let's talk about the entertainment side of things. So first things first, Greensboro has the Greensboro Coliseum. I've been to many events there. Concerts, circuses, sports, everything in between. Greensboro also has Wet n Wild, which is an aquatic center. Uh, looks like a lot of fun. I've never been there, but uh, you know, we don't have one in Winston. They have a really cool science center in uh, Greensboro, which gets about 400,000 visitors a year. They've got lovely botanical gardens in Greensboro. They also have a performing arts center in Greensboro, which hosts, you know, all kinds of things like Broadway style shows, as well as concerts and many other things. I don't think we fall too far behind in Winston-Salem. Uh, we do have our, our own Coliseum here which hosts national touring acts for comedy as well as national music acts and all kinds of things. Just about every single weekend there's something to do in downtown Winston-Salem, whether it's the farmer's market or classic car show or any kind of other free event where you can walk around, food truck festivals, things of that nature. I will say for the size, we have much more breweries in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. So I'm a big fan of breweries, not just, you know, drinking beer, that's cool, but also they usually have events and they have live music. You can bring your dogs, they got bonfires. It's a really cool atmosphere when you go to a brewery around here. So I'm gonna give this one to Greensboro, North Carolina because even though I think we can compete on almost every single one of these items, there's just gonna be more options at a bigger scale inside of Greensboro. Up next, let's talk about airports because both towns actually have an airport. Greensboro has PTI, which is Piedmont Triad International Airport. Now I've always questioned this, I don't know why, don't ask me, but it's called the International Airport, but mostly they just do domestic flights. Honestly, there's a lot of connecting flights in there, like a lot of times when we fly out of Charlotte, they'll have to route us through Greensboro and then we take off or vice versa. It's, it's kind of odd, honestly. 
and Winston-Salem has Smith Reynolds Airport. Now this is, this is gonna be a very small airport with only two runways. And from what I understand, it's mainly used for aviation training and for people to get their certifications. Um, you do see a lot of planes coming in and out, usually smaller planes, I will say, when you're driving around Winston. So like I said, both towns have an airport, but neither of them are gonna be really great just for your everyday travel. If you're going to, you know, somewhere international, you're gonna definitely go out of Raleigh or Charlotte. If you're going inside the country, you might be leaving out of Greensboro, but for the most part, any airline travel you're gonna have is probably gonna go through Charlotte or Raleigh. So these are kind of both null and void. Now let's talk about sports in both Winston-Salem and Greensboro, North Carolina. First, Greensboro is known as Tournament Town, and it got this nickname of Tournament Town because it's hosted a ver variety of very prestigious sports along the years. Greensboro also holds the NCAA championship events for various sports, including basketball, swimming, diving, and track and field. They also have a minor league baseball team that is known as the Greensboro Grasshoppers, catchy name. They also have the Greensboro Swarm, which is a NBA G League affiliate of the Charlotte Hornets. And in Winston-Salem here, we have the Winston-Salem Dash. They're named the Dash because of the little hyphen or dash between Winston and Salem. Fun fact, we also have a minor league hockey team, the Carolina Thunderbirds, a semi-professional football team, the Carolina Cowboys. But I think probably most famously, people are gonna recognize that uh, Winston-Salem is home to uh, Wake Forest University, which is of course home to the Demon Deacons. We also have the Bowman Gray Racing Stadium there, which is, uh, if you're a NASCAR person, you're gonna like that. So both towns actually have quite a bit of sports. No major league sports in either town. If you really want, you know, Charlotte, I think is our best city for sports here in the Carolinas. Now let's talk about colleges or universities because this subject is a reason why a lot of people are actually moving to the triad. Greensboro is home to the University of North Carolina Greensboro, also known as UNCG. It's a public four-year research university. It actually dates back all the way to 1891, which is pretty cool. I love the history in this area. You got North Carolina Agricultural and Technical University, or North Carolina a and Also dates back to 1891 and currently enrolls about 13,000 students. Greensboro College, which is a private college. It's affiliated with the United Methodist Church, and this one actually dates back to the 1830s, which is wild. Greensboro also has Bennett College. It's a women's college and it was founded in 1873. Here in Winston, we have Winston-Salem State University, which is a HBCU, historically black college or university. And this one was founded in 1892. There's Salem College, which is a women's college. It was actually founded back in the 1700s, which is really wild. In fact, it's the oldest all women's college in the United States of America, which is a pretty cool fact. You got the University of North Carolina School of the Arts, which is really popular here in town. That one dates back to the 1960s. It's the first public arts conservatory in the United States, which is also pretty cool. And of course, the big one here in town, Wake Forest University. And by the way, people sometimes get confused. There is a town called Wake Forest towards Raleigh. Uh, it started there, but eventually they moved it down to the Winston-Salem area. So those are the colleges. Now let's talk about some shopping in both Winston-Salem and Greensboro. So when it comes to shopping, you're definitely not gonna have a problem finding any of your big box stores on in either town. You know, they both have they're your Belks, your, you know, what do you have? Your Marshalls, your Ross, your JCPenney's. Now, if there's like a very niche um, store in your neck of the woods, we're probably not gonna have that, but any big box store we're gonna have in both cities. But as far as more local stores and more unique shopping and shopping centers, uh, this is kind of where the cities vary. I think you're gonna find this interesting. In Winston-Salem, close to downtown and close to one of the nicest neighborhoods in all of Winston-Salem, uh, Buena Vista, Buena Vista, if you're from the area, you have Thruway Shopping Center, which is a high-end, upscale shopping center. But not only that, you also have Haynes Mall Road, which is obviously the road that Haynes Mall is off of. And on that road, you have every single thing that you can imagine, whether it's groceries, fast food, po we got a poke place now, which I think is pretty cool. Um, anything you can imagine, it's got, you know, mattress place, Verizon store, jewelry stores, eyeglasses, Five Guys, Zaxby's, I love Zaxby's. You get your car washed, watch a movie, anything you, I mean, you can just imagine it, it's gonna be on Haynes Mall Boulevard. And you also have some really cool shopping centers like Renolda Village comes to mind, which is like basically an old uh, estate of some famous people that I'm not gonna bore you with here in the Winston-Salem area. And basically all the original shops used to be like the workers' homes, which is kind of cool. So you have all these uh, upscale designer clothing or um, you know uh, locally owned shops uh, in that area, which is pretty cool to go, You know whether you want something big box or something kind of cool, upscale, and unique, you're gonna find it both in, in Winston-Salem. 
And Greensboro has a lot to offer as well with the shopping. And you know, if there's a store that's a, a bigger brand that's not in Winston-Salem, um, then uh, Greensboro's gonna have it. One pet peeve I have, I will say that I like Greensboro for this, is that we don't have an actual Apple store in Winston-Salem, which still strikes, strikes me as odd. I just feel like we should have one by now at the size that we are. Uh, so for any Apple related issues, unless you want to just order online, which is what most people do, you're gonna have to drive to Greensboro, which again, it's only 30 minutes away. But in Greensboro, one of the biggest shopping areas is gonna be Wendover Road. Wendover basically stretches miles and all it is is commercial shopping, anything from food to clothing to, you know, motorized vehicles, cars, anything you can think of, they're gonna be selling it on Wendover Road. It's a long, long road in Greensboro. You also got the Friendly Shopping Center, which is, you know, kind of comparable to, I would say, our Haynes Mall Boulevard area. And then of course you got Four Seasons Mall, which is comparable to our Haynes Mall here in Winston-Salem. Now Greensboro, um, the Four Seasons Mall in Greensboro, gonna be bigger. I think it's, I'm not, I looked this up, I'm not sure if it's actually newer or, but it just feels newer, maybe more, a little bit better taken care of than the Winston-Salem Haynes Mall, I will say. Next, we're gonna talk about the differences in home prices between Winston-Salem and Greensboro. Before we do that, I just wanna remind you a couple of things. My phone number on the screen right now. You can call me, text me if you have any questions about either area. I also would really appreciate it if you hit that like button, leave me a comment, but above all, subscribe because it really does take a lot of time and energy to make these videos, a lot of research uh, to get these things out for you every week. So do me a favor, hit that button. Also, don't forget about the awesome links in the about section of this video, including the free Winston-Salem relocation guide. You also have uh, homes for sale in both areas you have all of my social media handles and my contact information in case you want to be my friend on TikTok, instagram or facebook now let's talk about the home prices all right so this section actually kind of blew my mind i was expecting something a little bit different than when i found out and i guess things have really changed over the last few years it used to be that the average price per home or the average price that we were looking at uh, was typically more expensive by 20 and thirty thousand dollars in greensboro than it was in winston-salem and what I found out is that the average price in Greensboro has now risen to $322,000. The average price for a home in Winston-Salem is $321,000. So about a thousand dollar difference between Greensboro and Winston-Salem. And this is the data from MLS from the last 365 days for the uh, three bedroom, two bath averages. And I've said this before about Winston-Salem, but honestly, I feel like that the last few years are kind of askew. There should be an asterisk there because the interest rates were so high high that people didn't want to sell their homes to move into something either bigger or smaller, whatever their, you know, their life uh, needs were. In other words, if I have a house that's too big for me, but I know that I currently have a 2.5% interest rate and I'm sure I could downsize and make a little bit of money, but the next house I'm going to get is going to be at a seven or 8% interest rate. I'm probably going to just deal with a bigger house than I need to. And I think that's the mentality that everyone had. So it'd be interesting to see if the uh, average home prices actually go down, the average home sold price goes down uh, in both towns after you know we get some more people uh, giving up their homes. Now their interest rates are starting to creep down a little bit. But for 2023, it looks like the average prices were only about a thousand dollars apart between Greensboro and Winston-Salem. Taxes also end up being quite similar. Uh, Winston-Salem once again having a little bit of an edge. In Guilford County, the average tax bill is $3,290, uh, and that's with an average tax rate of 1.02%. While in Forsyth County, the average tax bill is a little bit cheaper, uh, $3,148 for the average tax bill with an average uh, tax rate for the county of 0.98%. Uh, so home prices and taxes kind of similar. Now let's talk about the art scene. The most recent nickname for Winston-Salem is gonna be the City of Arts and Innovation, uh, because I really do believe that the city really puts a lot of effort into preserving and encouraging art of all kinds. We are a hub for theater, culinary arts, dance, public arts, and cinema in Winston-Salem. The city has several art institutions that play a pivotal role in the art scene here in Winston-Salem. We have a little art district in downtown Winston-Salem, which is really nice because you have, you know, beautiful murals all over the place. You have a lot of trendy bars, a lot of things to do, coffee shops, uh, a lot of art, not just in painting, also mural, also, you know, the murals, and you also have sculptures that you see out there as well, and some artivity on the green. I've talked about it a million times. It's beautiful, I love going there. Winston-Salem is also home to many theaters that have uh, a lot of events like the uh, film festivals, you also have uh, dance shows, recitals, musicals, plays, all kinds of things. Now Greensboro doesn't have a nickname that has anything to do with art, but 
Uh, they're not too shabby in the art scene either. Greensboro has over 100 beautiful and unique murals throughout the city. They actually have an interactive map where you can look all that up. If I remember, I'm gonna try to add that in the about section as well. They have the Carolina Theater, which is beautifully preserved, built in 1927. And then the big one, which is the Stevens Center, which is a performing arts center. Lovely, I've been to many shows there. So I don't wanna make this video any much longer. Let me just give you, I guess, my opinion or my take on, you know, being uh, feet on the ground here in the Winston-Salem in the triad for you. I think it all depends on taste. I think Greensboro is going to be a little bit more of that high-paced city life. Not quite, you know, your big, big city. It's not going to be your New York, your Miami, your LA, your Chicago, that kind of thing. But it's going to be higher paced than uh, what we're used to here in Winston-Salem. Winston-Salem still kind of feels like a small town unless you're in the you know middle of downtown Winston-Salem. You're still going to feel very uh, small town minded people. And I mean that people are usually gonna be a little bit more friendly in Winston-Salem, just my experience, um, than, uh, than Greensboro. But honestly, the prices aren't too different geographically, not too different, weather very similar. I mean, your money kind of goes the same way, uh, uh, just as long in, in both areas. So I would definitely say that both of them are areas that I would consider. Some of the people that I end up helping have this kind of similar mentality and they end up looking for a home kind of in the middle, north of High Point a little bit where you're close to all three cities, which is not a bad idea. I also think that we have an underappreciated, definitely goes under the radar food scene here. Some locals will also say that uh, you wanna eat in Winston-Salem and then go party or go do something in Greensboro because that's kind of what it feels like. Uh, we have, and don't get me wrong, they have some amazing food in, in Greensboro, but just the, the amount uh, of uh, great locally owned, uh, you know, well-renowned uh, restaurants that we have in Greensboro is quite high for the city, for the size of the city. So I think my final thoughts is Winston-Salem, we're more of the small town, food trucks, wineries, and breweries, and Greensboro is gonna be more of that city life, high pace, a little bit more hectic, um, and you know more things going on. So it just depends on what you're into. And of course, whichever one you decide to go to, I am your guy, feel free to reach out to me. The number on the screen is my personal cell phone. Thank you so much for watching another episode, and I'll see you in the next video.